Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So we are on day four with no power. Um, I'm in the upstate of South Carolina, so we got hit pretty hard with the hurricane. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, I know our county for sure is under a state of emergency. Um, we are, are, we didn't get hit nearly like what they did in the mountains um, in Asheville and places like that where there are towns that just don't even exist anymore. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have not been able to upload. I haven't been able to film. I haven't been able to do anything. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try filming on my phone and I'll try to upload it directly through the YouTube app and we will just see how it goes. So yeah, there will be no editing in this video. I don't even know if I'll be able to work out a thumbnail for it, but I'll at least be able to get a video up. So anyways, I'm going to jump right in. I do have plenty of fragrances. That is the one thing that I have been doing a lot is wearing perfume. So um, I'm going to start with my full bottles and I'm going to start with this combination first. So um, this is a little combination that I wore. It was pretty warm that day too, but this was so good. Uh, this is my little Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. And this is so, this is such a beautiful perfume. I like to wear this one more in the cold weather for sure. Um, though you can wear it in the, in the hot weather and it's got a little bit of a coconut in it, a little bit of a coconut, sorry, a little bit of coconut. Now you guys are going to see all the stuff that I constantly have to edit out because this is what I do. I, um, I will flub. I will say things I didn't mean to say. Like I, that's why I have to edit so heavily because I have a hard time just like saying what I need to say. Anyways, this has a coconut note in it. It's a really, really beautiful, warm, kind of slightly sweet, but not overly sweet coconut. It's subtle, so it doesn't, it's not like, it doesn't smell like a coconut perfume. It's really, really beautiful, though. It's a very warm, like, sultry vanilla. And then I wanted to uh, layer one of these. These are fragrances from a house called Le Monde Gourmand. Now, I know that you used to be able to get these at Urban Decay. Now you can pretty much find them at TJ Maxx. I usually see them every time I go into TJ Maxx. This one is called Chai Eclair. And this one, when I wore this this time, this one actually smells a lot like my uh, pink, Victoria's Secret pink. Um, I forget what it's called now think something. Why can't I, for the life of me, remember? Anyways, my Victoria's Secret pink fragrance that I have, um, th this actually smells very similar. This doesn't smell like chai to me at all. This is more like kind of a sweet, warm, vanilla heavy amber is really what it is, but it does smell a lot like the Victoria's Secret pink fragrance that I've got. Um, this layered I'm sorry, my cat. Charlotte's got a skeleton hanging on her door and my cat, he's, he's playing with the skeleton. Um, this combination, oh my gosh, it was so good. It lasted forever. Usually on their own, these ones just do not perform well at all. You can only get like maybe an hour out of them if you're lucky, but layered over this oil, it lasted absolutely forever. It was such a good combination. I'm so glad that I wore these together. I'm actually going to store this next to this so that anytime I want to wear this, I always put the oil on first because then um, I know that I will actually get some time out of this perfume. Um, I'm wanting to remember the name of my pink <laughs> fragrance, but I can't for the life of me. Anyways, that is the first fragrance that I wore, a little combination I wore. That is the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Oil and the Chai Eclair from um, Le Monde Gourmand. I don't know. It says it's an eau de parfum. I would say this is more like an eau de cologne or something like that. It's very, very leading. Okay, next I wore the fragrance that Matthew Mellig just sent over. This is Temple of Horus 2. And this is the most stunning, like, Oris Butter fragrance. And that's really mostly what I get. It does have other, other, uh, sorry, other notes in it, not other fragrances in it. Um, it's got tonka bean in it. It's got fl a flower in the top and I'm, it's already 
like blown out of my mind. I think it's maybe a lotus note. It's some kind of a floral. It's got myrrh in it. And that's really what you get, the combination of the myrrh and the orris butter. And it's such a high quality orris butter. It is fantastic. This is going to live out because I have a feeling I'm just going to be wearing this all of the time when it starts to cool down. Um, I wore it in the heat and it was perfectly fine in the heat, but I just think that this is going to be perfection in cooler weather. So I can't wait for cooler, cooler weather to get here so that I can start wearing this some more. Um, okay. So anyways, that is the Temple of Horus 2 from Matthew Melig, and it is incredible. Um, okay, next I wore this guy here. This is the YSL Libra perfume. This is just the original EDP formulation. And I'm so sorry, I'm going to say this right now, but this is a designer perfume that is an actual masterpiece. This, I feel like, is... This is a classic already. It's a classic in the making. I think as long as they just keep rolling with the formulations that they have and don't butcher this one, this is one that will stand the test of time. I mean, this is one that we will all still be wearing in 20 years, I think. It is so stunning. I do still prefer the intense formulation um, just because I like the a little bit of extra heaviness that you get with the intense. Um, this is perfect for any time of year though. It was warm the day that I wore this and it's beautiful in the heat. So this was, it was the perfect formulation to wear in the heat. I absolutely love it. I love every single formulation that they have come out with every flanker, all of them. I have all of them and I adore all of them. And didn't they just come out with another one? I, it's, I feel like they just came out with another one. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I do think that they just came out with another formulation of this. So anyways, that is why I sell Libra, just the EDP formulation. Okay, and then the last full bottle that I wore is this one here. This is a fragrance called Alchemy 33 from a house called, I think it's called The Alchemist or Alchemist Perfumes. It's a little tiny house. I don't hear anybody talk about them I ever really I was gonna say super often no really never um, and this fragrance this is one of my most favorite easy to reach for perfumes in my collection hands down this it gives me Coco Mademoiselle vibes and I'm pretty sure that this has patchouli in it I know it's got sandalwood in it I feel like it's got patchouli um, but I don't know if it's got patchouli in the notes I swear I smell patchouli though. It's got rose in it as well, which you really don't get a lot of the rose. Um, it's got bergamot. The note breakdown is nothing super special. <laughs> you see my kitty over there. But this is absolutely stunning. This thing is a monster too. This is one of those fragrances you can spray it on. It You can wear it all time. Oh my gosh, see, these are the things I'm going to have to edit that I need to be able to edit out that I won't be able to. This is a fragrance that can be worn all year round. Um, you can wear it in the heat. You can wear it in the cold. I love it. It doesn't matter what time of year. I just absolutely adore this fragrance. It's such an easy to wear perfume. It's such a beautiful feminine, like floral patchouli scent. It's absolutely stunning i love it and i feel like it's so underrated and nobody talks about this one the bottle is really stunning um i just love everything about this fragrance and it's one that i wish i saw more people talking about because it's really really gorgeous um super underrated so anyways and it's a monster you can spray this on one time and you are good you will still smell like this when you wake up the next morning like on your skin it lasts forever and i do believe this is kind of a clean perfume um i think they use like really good high quality ingredients um i just love it so anyways that one is called alchemy 33 from i think it's the alchemist or alchemist perfumes something like that 
Okay, and then on to I've got samples and I've got a travel spray. I was really craving this fragrance. This is the Black Opium um, Le Parfum from YSL. This is my most favorite version of Black Opium that I have ever smelled. I am still sick to death that I missed the 21 days of beauty sale um when they had this it was like 52 dollars i think for a one ounce bottle of it and i am sick that i missed out on it this is so stunning i think this has got a marshmallow note in it this is it's like black opium but it's like sweet it's a sweeter fluffier black opium and a bag of marshmallows that's what it smells like to me. I absolutely adore this. It is stunning over a vanilla lotion. I do know that Fragrance Net carries a, you can get a huge three ounce bottle of this for right around $100, um, which is a way, way better deal. So I think I'm just gonna end up doing that. It's a stunner. Love this fragrance. It doesn't last a super long time unless you layer it. If you do layer it over some lotion, it will last a good long time. I remember um, the last time I wore it, I think I got a good, gosh, six or seven hours out of it at least layered, but this time I didn't layer it over any lotion. So mm, I think I got maybe three or four hours out of it or so. It still lasts really well for a black opium because I've got, um, I've got two other formulations of black opium and neither of them perform as well as this one. So this one is definitely my favorite and I need to get a full bottle. Um, I probably only have like not even half of this left. I love it. It's so good. So anyways, that is Black Opium Le Parfum from YSL. Okay. And then I pulled out the little uh, mini that Tatiana sent over. This is from Paloma Picasso and this is called Temptations. Um, I thought something was on my arm. Yeah, we're so lucky that we live in such a bright apartment or it would, except when you go out in the hall, like it is scary out in the hall. It is pitch black out there. Um, I have to wear my headlamp just to take my dogs out because it is so dark in the hallway. Um, I love this fragrance. This is beautiful. This is very vintage smelling. It smells like, it smells like a vintage floral, maybe slightly aldehydic. Um, it smells like it's just got a ton of flowers in it, like rose and lily of the valley and probably like carnation, um, maybe some jasmine. It just smells like it's got a bazillion florals in it. It smells, like I said, a little bit aldehydic. I think, does this one have some oak moss in it? I feel like I, I feel like this one's got some oak moss or something in it. It's very vintagey smelling, really, really beautiful. Um, and I love it. Nobody likes it when I wear stuff like this um, in my household because my husband and daughter don't enjoy the smell of vintage fragrances in the same way that I do. Um, so I wore this during the day. And by, I think by the time my husband got home, this was pretty much worn off. So he didn't have to smell it, but I love it. I love vintage fragrances. Um, they're just some of the most comforting, cozy things of life. I love them. So anyways, that is Temptations, or actually it's Temptations Day, Paloma Picasso. Okay, and then I wore two of the samples that I've got. So this is from Coco Pink, and this one is called Bonfire Pumpkins. And this is so yummy. This is like a, if you could imagine like just a pumpkin puree, just like an unsweet pumpkin puree and then a kind of unsweet but creamy vanilla and like mix the two together and then add something I don't want to say smoky because smoky isn't the word um and woody is not really the word maybe something in between smoky and woody add something kind of smoky and woody and like this kind of creamy pumpkin pureed scent that's not at all sweet. And that's what you get with this one. 
it's so yummy. It doesn't last very long though. That's why I'm kind of going through um, my cocoa pink scents and testing them because um, they just don't perform super well in me. I think this one, I think this is an oil too. So yeah, sadly the oils don't perform any better really, but it's a really, really nice scent, but I have other pumpkin scents in my collection that I enjoy more. So I probably wouldn't pick up a full bottle of this, especially because it just doesn't perform super well. But it is a real, whoa, it is a really nice um, pumpkin scent that doesn't smell, it's not overly gourmand. It doesn't really smell like a pumpkin dessert. It doesn't smell like a candle. Um, it's, it's a really nice, like grown up pumpkin scent that's not, it's not like an over the top pumpkin. I think a lot of people would like this one, especially if you're not into really, really sweet things. Um, but yeah, sadly, oh, I thought my microphone turned off. I was going to be so upset. Um, but yeah, sadly, it just doesn't perform super well. So anyways, that one is called Bonfire Pumpkins from Coco Pink. And then the last one that I wore is this one here from Epico. My fragrance friend Susan sent this in a smelly nail box. This one is called Vanny Rum. This one is so beautiful. Um, so when I first put this one on, I, I can't remember exactly. I remember not thinking, like not being able to smell vanilla really at all. In fact, let me put a little bit on my skin so I can kind of remember what my thought process was because I remember liking it. Yeah, it's got... Um, it's got a really almost sharp greenness to it. Something almost camphorous smelling. Yeah, something very camphorous smelling. Almost kind of slightly medicinal. And you, it stays like that for, I don't know, maybe maybe like 15 minutes. It's very medicinal smelling, very camphorous, very um, almost kind of slightly like menthol. What's what's the word? Like men mentholated. Is that the word? Mental methylated, mentholated, ment menthol-y smelling. Yeah, but I would say actually more camphorous and medicinal than menthol, but yeah now it'll stay like that for about 15 minutes i don't really get any rum um i'm quite sure there's rum in this that's another thing this isn't going to have any of the notes on the screen or anything um i'll see if i can put the i'll i'll try to put the names of the perfumes in the description box but i'm not going to be able to do any editing to this video so there won't be any notes or anything um i'm pretty sure because it's called vanny rum i'm quite sure it's got rum in it but anyways, you get this kind of like mentholated, like camphorous kind of greenness, like medicinal greenness on skin for about 15 minutes. And then once that kind of uh, wears, once it starts to really get into the deep dry down of this, it turns into the most beautiful kind of creamy, just kind of... Um, I want to say like a typical smelling vanilla, but you do get this really beautiful creamy vanilla. You do have to get through that kind of camphorous, um, what do I want to say, that kind of camphorous aspect of it first though, which I don't really mind. Um, this isn't a fragrance that I think I would go out of my way to find a bottle of, but it's one of those that if I was ever like, you know, if I ever came across a bottle for a good price, I would definitely pick it up because I really, really like the dry down of this one. Um, I don't even mind the, the medicinal aspect to it. It's really, really beautiful. Um, this, it's a very, very unique vanilla scent because at the end of the day, when it gets into the deep dry down, it really is a true vanilla. It's really beautiful. War forever too. I think I got a good eight to 10 hours out of this at least. It lasted forever. So anyways, that one is called Vanny Rum, and that is from Epico. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I'm going to try to get this uploaded and hope that it does upload 
Um, if not, I'll drive to somewhere that has Wi-Fi and I'll try to get it uploaded there. But I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.